The ICC Champions Trophy is slated to happen at February 2025, but I am not going to tell you the venue because it could be Pakistan, it could be hybrid, it could be somewhere else for that matter. Now, Pakistan are desperate to host an ICC event for the first time since 1996. They, the last time they hosted a multi-nation tournament was 2008 Asia Cup. Now, Pakistan have shown their desperation that they want India to travel. Now, according to Pakistan media reports and also a report that has been done by Crick Buzz, Pakistan have put out a very unique proposal to India. What is that proposal for the Champions Trophy? The proposal is stating PCB's assistance to the Indian team. This is what the Pakistan media and Crickbuzz have reported in this particular stage. It states, return to India either to Chandigarh or New Delhi after each game to avoid staying in Pakistan due to security concerns as gap between two games is seven days. This is a very, very strange proposal that's been given because the proposal initially tells the Indian cricket team, you come to Lahore, most of the games might happen in Lahore. You come to Lahore on match day, after you do the press conference and everything, head back to Chandigarh or New Delhi, whichever is your convenience. If you don't want to stay in Pakistan due to the security concerns, then don't do this. Don't stay in Pakistan, go back to Chandigarh and New Delhi, whenever there are matches, come back to Pakistan and return. Now, there is an added thing in that, that PCB plans to hold all of India's matches in Lahore. Now, why Lahore? Because it's closer to Punjab, the Wagha border to Lahore is just about 5 to 10 minutes away. Easy for the Indian fans to just come, see the game and then return. That is one. India's three games are on February 20, February 23rd and March 2. Bangladesh, Pakistan and New Zealand. So, February 20 to February 23rd, there's a three-day gap, so they'll not go home in that. 23rd, they return back to India and come back on March 2 for New Zealand. This is the proposal that Pakistan are desperately hoping that India accepts it. But BCCI sources have told Sports Today categorically that this is not at all happening. This is not happening for the simple reason that logistically it will be a nightmare. Logistically, the players will be tired by it. So, BCCI sources have categorically told sports today that this is not happening. That if they come to Pakistan, if they don't want to say return to Chandigarh or New Delhi, it's not happening whatsoever. So, Pakistan has shown their desperation. Now, they are revamping the stadiums in certain parts of the country like in Karachi, Lahore, they will be doing that's why the Pakistan-England test series has been just confined to Multan and Rawalpindi and also because of the SEO meeting that was happening. However, this is very important now because Jay Shah will take over the reins from December 1 as the ICC head. Now, you both, all, all of us know that if Pakistan has to come to India, government has to give approval. Same goes for India. If the Indian government says no, the team can't go to Pakistan. And the ECB have also stated that yes, a champion's trophy without India is impossible. So what will happen? There are now two ways out of it. Either you follow the hybrid model that what happened in the Asia Cup, India's games will happen in a particular country, all other teams will play in Pakistan. Or you shift the entire Champions Trophy to either the UAE or South Africa, whichever is deemed good in that matter. And then Pakistan get the hosting rights. That is the current situation because looking at India-Pakistan tensions, it doesn't look like the bilateral problems will ease off anytime soon. So, will India accept this proposal? PCCI sources have said, no way this is happening. Can a breakthrough be achieved in India and Pakistan if you have to travel to the Champions Trophy? You can write to us in the comments below. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.